Our physics project will be about projectile motion and trajectory by using the flight path of an arrow. The arrow is able to fly because the force exerted by the bow is greater than the force of gravity. We did three trials of each angle and we took the mean distance of each angle measure. Let me tell you how we set this up. We placed the target at our projected flight distance from where we were standing. Then we would turn the arrow at the angle that we had chosen. And as you can see, our projection flight distance was off and the arrow always went past the target. All right, hold it up and get her straight. Is that straight? No. Pull. Up. There. Up, up, up. Up a little bit more. Ready? Yep. We're good. I see what. Go. Go. Up, 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 up. There. There. Shoot it. As you can see, at 20 degrees, our arrow traveled 58 meters. This was the farthest we were able to launch it. At 30 degrees, it only traveled 49 meters. This means that at 20 degrees, the force produced by the bow was able to maximum overcome the effects of gravity and air resistance that would apply to the arrow as it's in flight. Yeah. Did you actually see the arrow? Yeah. 30 yards, you'll Three arrows are together, but they're all high. Thanks for watching.